Perfect love casts out fear. When we fully understand how much God loves us and that God loves us so much that he will not allow us to die without experiencing his promises, fear will be cast out of our lives. Uh, we have to be careful about fear. Because Job said the very thing that I feared has come upon me. We must choose faith over fear. Instead of being frustrated, we must remain faithful. What is the key to your deliverance? Seeking God. What is the key to your deliverance? Talk to me, saints. Seeking God. Seeking the Lord. That's the key. You're afraid? What is the key of being delivered from all of your fears? Seeking God. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and then he delivered me as a response of my call or my cry, and then he delivered me. Does anybody need to be delivered from anything right now? Now this sounds crazy to people. How could you praise God? Haven't even been delivered yet. And how could you praise God? And you have this situation you're faced with. This makes no sense to the natural mind. This is why we can't serve God with our natural mind. Our natural mind, the scripture said, is carnal and is enmity against God. We serve God with our spirit. And it's our spirit that causes our mind to comprehend. Y'all hear me? The spirit of God on the inside of you will let you know that whatever you're looking at will not always be that way. But if we are really trying to serve God with our own human understanding, we will give up. We will die in that situation. See, when, when all you see is the problem, you can never see the promise. And the problem will have you talking crazy. You, you hear me? Like, it'll have you talking crazy. It'll have you talking out of character. That's not the Holy Ghost. That's not the Spirit of God living on the inside of you saying that we are just going to die. You can look at the problem like they saw and you have to determine whether or not you're going to see it as a as a, uh, an opportunity for God to move in that situation or you can look at that situation and say this, thing, this very thing right here is going to be the reason I die. This is the very problem that's going to take me out of here. Or you can say for God I'll live, for God I'll die. Or you can say, my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask or think according to the power that worketh on the inside of me. You have, a, you, have, you have to make a decision. Do not be anxious about anything. But instead of you being anxious, be in prayer about every situation. And then give thanks. Make your request known unto God. And then as a response to those things, the peace of God will govern your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Anybody need that peace? That peace will keep you hopeful. That peace will tell you everything is going to work out for your good. That piece says that even when something difficult comes and rattles me, I'll stand still. Because I know that God is able to deliver me. And that piece 
people say, no matter how long it takes, I'll wait.